there people, this is Bruce Bickle, all Nintendo Bruce here, and we are back with another deck recipe for Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Decade Jewels for the Xbox 360. So this is fulfilling a request which I did uh, mention a while ago that I would make a different burn type deck mainly around stalling and nightmare wheels and things like that. Um, so here it is, you know, I like to try and fulfill my requests, what can I say? So as per usual let's go through the monsters then spells and traps and uh, we'll cover a few other things along the way. So uh, one thing I'll say before going through this, you'll find a lot of the cards are used in the aggressive burn deck as well. That's because some of them you just can't say no to, especially the heavy damage cards like Chain Strike, Ceasefire, etc, etc. But, you know, it'll all make sense, it'll all make sense. So, moving on then, we have two Blast Spheres, you know, absolutely amazing damage if it's a heavy monster you want to get rid of. I'm not going to explain too much about them because I have done in my previous videos anyway. Three Des Koalas, goes without saying, lovely, lovely effect there, 400 points of damage for each card in the opponent's hand. Two lava golems. I would, I would, um, I would run three, but it it seems to end up that when you run three, you end up with quite a few of them in the hand, and without any defence, it's yeah, it's going to be a whooping in the making. But definitely run at least two with the amount of stall cards you've got. You've usually got no fear with having that out on the field. Uh, one marshmallow goes without saying, damage and a staller. Morphing jar to replenish your hand because you're gonna need it with burn decks. A Plague Spreader Zombie, um, it's, you know, I've put it in there, sure it's not a burning card or anything like that, but if you can somehow get out a Dark Strike Fighter for burn damage, then great, um, or something else just to get rid of something like Goyo Guardian or whatever like that. What can I say, it's Plague Spreader, it's a really good card. Uh, whoops. Sangam, goes without saying, finds a lot of the burn cards in here, if not all the monster cards as a matter of fact, so you must have that. Uh, two Solar Flare Dragons, you guys know what it does, if both of them are out then you can't get attacked essentially. Uh, Spirit Reaper for stalling. Now here's something different, three Stealth Birds. So what they do is, once you flip it up personally, then the opponent will take a thousand damage. And on top of that, it can then be flipped back face down again. So, you know, it's got fairly high defence, 1700, so most of the time this is going to be out in the field for quite a while. And in case someone brings out something like uh, Caius or something else to get rid of it, then you can combo Crush Card Virus with it, which is absolutely lovely. So, yep, definitely have three of those. Moving on into spells, we have two Chain Strikes. Why not? They're heavy damage at the end of the day and can be chained to anything, obviously. Uh, for stalling, level limit area B, must have that. A Swords of Revealing Light, that can indeed be quite helpful, and again for stalling. Uh, three Tremendous Fires, heavy damage at the end of the day. Three Wave Motion Cannons, heavy damage, and usually forces people to use Mystical Space Typhoon and Heavy Storm almost instantly. Uh, moving into Traps, uh, Ceasefire, it is heavy damage. And remember, if you've got Stealth Bird on the field, you can flip it back down into face down uh, defense position if you're going to use uh, Ceasefire with that on the field. Crush Card works with a lot of cards here, so definitely have that in there. A Gravity Bind, why not? It's a Staller. Two Just Desserts um, can be debatable, but in the day, they can cause heavy damage. Um, and worst case scenario, there is a side deck to go by if your opponent isn't summoning that much. Uh, one magic cylinder. Hey, if a lava golem's going to attack you, you're going to want to magic cylinder that stuff. Mirror force, just in case. Three nightmare wheels. So this is another stalling card here. Um, for each of your standby fight, uh, phases, your opponent takes 500 damage. Uh, the opponent then can't attack, and on top of that, the opponent can't change uh, position either. So if you know the opponent has, say, set a tuner. Um, or has some of the tuner and there's a face down monster in the field, then flip this, target the face down monster, and they can't do jack about it, which is lovely, absolutely lovely. Three secret barrels as well for heavy damage. And that is literally it, so a lot of duplicates here of heavy dealing, uh, heavy damage dealing cards, but with a stalling sort of effect to it, which, you know, for burning, that's what you need. So extra deck, as I always say, put an extra deck in, cause you never know. Black Rose Dragon, Dark Strike Fighter, Goyo Guardian, blah blah blah. You guys know how to make an extra deck, I'm not going to bore you with that. Side deck, I'll be honest with you, I haven't concentrated too much on because with burn decks you can't 
really change that much without altering the flow big time. But, you know, I've made one anyway, so an extra Lava Golem, just in case. Giant Grenade and Heavy Storm, just in case you've got to get rid of that back row. Messenger of Peace, so if someone's loving the Jinzos, then Messenger of Peace and, well, that's that. The only reason this isn't in the main deck is because a lot of people do play 1400 attackers like uh, Mystic Tomato, uh, things less like Goblin... Uh, is it Goblin Zombie? Or whatever. You know what I mean, but a lot of stuff that goes under Messenger of Peace, so that's why it's on the side deck. Monster Reborn, just in case. Mystical Space Typhoon, Scapegoat. Ajama Trio, so that will combo well with just desserts, or if you know your opponent tries to fill up the field constantly, then yeah, pop this in and that will stop them dead in their tracks. Three Royal Oppression, so what you'll find with the deck, apart from Plague Spreader Zombie, and obviously Lava Golem, um, you know what, there's not a lot of special summoning at all. And if your opponent relies on a lot of synchro summons and special summoning like for a monarch deck etc then yeah whack this in the 800 cost is small compared to what could happen to you only two solemn judgments because i couldn't fit a third one in but i think three solemns are a bit much for a burn deck anyway stops the terrible summons that your opponent uh decides to do as well as anything else you know you know how it works anyway and one torrential tribute just in case you're up against a swarmer and that is basically it so as I've mentioned with my last burner video you know what some people might rage quit on you with this but if they can't handle all deck types then they're not worth playing against so and I don't you know I don't mean to offend anyone out there but you know if you're gonna rage quit just because of a deck type then you know that's pretty bad that's pretty bad so on that front, if you guys have any questions, then obviously pop them in the comments section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up if the deck works out for you. So, on that front, you guys take care and I will see you again soon.